Hello everyone, this is Zion and welcome back to Let's Play Sims 4 Restaurant Legacy Challenge. This is part 7 and of course we have Madeline. She's taking a shower at the local pool and of course why not. One thing I've been curious about is every time she comes to take a shower, these people in this Renegades Club seem to be cleaning the bathrooms. We're going to try to figure out what that's about. Um, I'm not sure why they have this constant need to clean the bathrooms at the local pool. Apparently they're repairing stuff too. I could have sworn I saw them cleaning at one point. Um, so they gather in the bathrooms and they clean and repair stuff. So I'm very curious to see what's going on with that. She's almost done with her shower, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the first person uh, that's currently doing something. And just check out the club. Um, I'm not sure if that's kind of a club I want to be in. Uh, we are gardeners. We have an awesome club. Uh, we do need to gather a little bit more, though. And I'm sure once we get a restaurant going, we're definitely going to work on that. Uh, so let's go. We're apparently talking to all of them. And she's really tense. <laughs> Uh, this relationship since things are going Ari she hates us now, I'm not sure why she hates us uh, you know if you weren't cleaning toilets and fixing them all the time maybe you wouldn't be so cranky want to make friends want to be popular too bad the first rule of all renegades you don't talk about the renegades okay so we didn't get to learn anything they're not telling us but let's go ahead and look at the details here uh, they are all here apparently there's four of them and the club activities sabotage. Oh my gosh. They weren't fixing stuff, guys. They were destroying it. Be mischievous to everybody. Be mean to, Parag <laughs> be mean to paragons. Everybody's got to be mean to the paragons. And don't be mischievous to renegades. So, this is kind of a freaky little club here. They're, they're going around and they're, they're always at this pool. They are always here. And no wonder she hates us because that's just kind of how she is. Um, I think it's time to go for a dip. We haven't, we can't skinny dip. You can't skinny dip while there are kids around. Think about the children. I'm Ooh, yes. glad uh -huh. that we thought about that. We do not want to yes. skinny dip with the kids around. This object is currently in use. This kid's got to get off here because we want to use Look that out. diving board. And it's really just time for Madeline to have a day off. The uh, object's still currently in use. All right, here we go. We can backflip, cannonball, jump, or swan dive. Um... She's never gone swimming before. So we always get to start people with backflips, first time swimming, of course. And we're probably just gonna jump right on this little kid. Um, as you can see, it hurts her birthday today. Madeline's gonna age up. She's gonna be an adult. Um, I'm not sure how happy she is about that. She's just spent her entire young adult life fishing and she's got some amazing fishing skills. Now let's go ahead and look at those fish she's caught so far. If we look at her collections and we go down to fish, she is filling it up nicely. Uh, she hasn't collected all the gardening type things, even though she is a gardener and that's what she really should have been working on. Um, so she hasn't been able to fish with all the different baits she can yet, which is why there's so many of these more rare fish just kind of chilling out that we haven't caught just yet. Uh, best fish we've caught as far as price so far has been the sturgeon, and we did sell that one for 1,500 simoleons, which has got us the opportunity to start our restaurant. Uh, all that money did go to our chef's kitchen, which is quite expensive, but it's done. And she was just a natural at that. She went and took a wonderful backflip. And maybe she'll even get some social. Let's see if we can go ahead and just chat with somebody while we're in here. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a funny introduction. We're not very funny, but we'll try it. Sure, why not? And he's swimming around, apparently, doing the breaststroke going on there. Uh, he's, 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 he could definitely work on his form a little bit, but it's good. And let's see if we swim over to each other. Or if he's going to swim all the way over to us. She, we're just going to wade here in the water. And he's going to swim all the way back. So apparently we can't swim too well. Uh, but as you can see, the most sims are really, really good natural swimmers. And we, we're still introducing ourselves apparently. We can, we can do pretty much anything while we're out here. Let's go ahead and vent a little bit. We have not been able to really vent our emotions all this time because we were working so hard on getting a restaurant. This kid's gonna jump right on my head. Oh, oh my gosh. That was way too close. We should probably yell at her. Um, I don't wanna yell at a kid though. Let's go ahead and get out. Go here. Oh, and she just climbs right out, of course. Uh, what we wanna do is go start our garden. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go home. Oh, we are hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the barbecue right across from our restaurant first. And of course, we're going to make a garden in the backyard of our restaurant. Um, because we just kind of want it to be peaceful. We want it to be green. We want it to be nice. 
and we're going to hopefully really perk up the restaurant quite a bit with our garden so let's get into this real quick uh, i don't know if i'm going to be buying any pots or just planting right on the ground i think i'm going to be planting right on the ground we do not need pots at least just yet we can always move them later if we please and bam there we are a shrieking llama uh, we do need to change that name eventually that is not a good name for our bakery um, but we do want to buy some food we'll grill we don't have enough simoleons of course because we put all our money in the restaurant so let's go ahead and just transfer some of that back we're going to take a hundred out not a thousand a hundred and confirm that transfer and we do need to purchase some seeds in order to plant stuff and uh, there's no way to do that without the pot unless we buy a computer which we do not have so I guess we are gonna have to go ahead and purchase what at least one pot so we can buy the seeds we need and let's go ahead and look at those gardening garden pot that will be just fine that is the cheapest one and uh, sure we can might as well just keep one around so we can buy more seeds later and let's go ahead and go forward and grill our food uh, of course we have been traveling around in our swimsuit because we were swimming uh, this is a gorgeous swimsuit i might add and it looks really good on her and let's go ahead and grab our serving oh she's getting decent at her cooking skill as you can see she's up to skill level three and eh, it's not great but it's something fishing she's almost up maxing out her fishing skill so we can add that to our points on our legacy challenge let's go ahead and put mm. our food in our inventory and of course you're going to go ahead and finish off your food and then we're going to go ahead and buy our seeds every time i put food in the inventory for some reason she does stop eating so we're going to tell her to go ahead and finish that and let's go ahead and go to our pot and we're going to purchase some seeds see what's available flowers fruits herbs vegetables we do want a little bit of everything so let's go ahead and buy one fruit one herb and one vegetable just to get started off with we do need more money so let's transfer a few more dollars over and we're going to transfer just the 20 we need uh, let's go ahead and give her 40 so she can make her next meal and now we can purchase our seeds uh, we do not want flowers at this time i'm not entirely sure what the good use of flowers is i know there is one i just don't know what it is um, but our gardening seeds are in our inventory now and we can go ahead and plant those wherever we please uh, so let's just go ahead and put those there and that's not working so we'll go ahead and put them back and open the seed packet first of course and we'll go ahead and open that one and we'll go ahead and open that one all right so as you can see we now have a wide selection of stuff that we've purchased we have two basil two parsley plantains grapes and two spinach and i feel that we're missing something as we have herbs we have fruits what was the other option vegetables so what is our vegetable just the spinach i assume uh, uh hopefully eventually we can buy better seeds or at least find them we also have some wonderful things we've collected there is grow fruit as you can see which we got right here by our restaurant uh, there's a nice little orchard where is it there it is you can see them just glowing there's more grow fruit to collect so we'll go ahead and harvest those in a minute. There's also lemons and cherries over there. Uh, so we can definitely get a nice row of trees along here. But let's go ahead and plant these. Let's click plant and drag this item into the world to run this interaction. So let's go ahead and drag that over. And let's get rid of that option and drag over a spinach. Uh, so we'll have a spinach. And we we'll might as well just do two spinaches. We'll have our parsley and our basil which i said in reverse order not intentionally but it's all right and we do have two of each of those we're gonna have a cool plantain tree up front uh, let's go ahead and sell this pot we do not need it anymore and of course we're going to be just putting a nice little row of trees we'll have a cherry tree and we'll leave the rest of the cherries in there we'll also do a lemon tree and we'll just have like one of tr each tree in the front which i think would be really nice for a restaurant and we'll just kind of organize it as we go uh, we do want some grow fruits and we want our grapes so we'll do a separate row for the fruits that we're planting as far as plants we have grapes we've got strawberries uh, we do need an apple tree and i do not think we want to plant mushrooms at least just yet i'm not entirely sure what their use is 
uh, we will find out as we go along but let's get out of this and let's go ahead and start planting these um, let's go ahead and plant that and we'll just go ahead and plant everything real quick and after that time we'll go ahead and water everything uh, she's gonna spend quite a lot of time doing this that is already four in the morning and we have to open our restaurant at eight uh, in the morning I believe is the time we give ourselves and we're gonna try to stick to that time frame so our customers aren't confused about where we're going with our timings so she might just not get any sleep at all which is gonna be quite unfortunate for a restaurant hopefully we can still make some money off that uh, she does want to plant something three times which she just did and she wants to weed her water which we're gonna do immediately after we plant everything uh, so we're gonna be excellent gardeners hopefully it'll go up just as well as our fishing skill has and she will be very proficient at pretty much all outdoor out to activities um, so let's go ahead and go around and water everything we do not need a professional gardener as we do love gardening ourselves and it's really time to do something she loves I it I think she has been needing this for quite some time oh and apparently doing one water we'll go around and water everything so she's already taking care of everything as you can see that's already blossoming that's incredible and there's nothing else we can do at this time uh, so go ahead and finish watering and we'll go ahead and get you some sleep uh, we do have <laughs> have about an hour of sleep ahead of us so we're really excited about that hour of sleep and then we're going to go ahead and open up a restaurant hopefully our employees have leveled up just a little bit and with our garden and our restaurant we should really start making money these plants are just popping up already like crazy which is amazing we did leave some water puddles out here that was unintentional but it's working out and as you can see everything looks the same apple looks just like a grow fruit tree and a cherry tree, but our lemon tree and our plantain tree. Oh my gosh, we overslept. We overslept. And these bushes are way close together. So we're going to go ahead and separate these just a little bit. And let's just line up the sides with these. That will be pretty cool. And it'll kind of be a decoration and a garden all in one. I'm really liking that. Once that starts blossoming, it's going to be beautiful. These trees are probably also too close together, which will fix here eventually but we do need to wake Madeline up apparently Madeline you're gonna be running your restaurant let's go ahead and open toggle whether or not new customers should arrive automatically set to allow customers whenever the business is open oh so you can to say when there's no more customers so that when the last customers leave uh, you're ready to go that's pretty cool I did not realize that before uh, we are open for business go ahead and go to the bathroom and hopefully you're going to switch into something a little more appropriate for the restaurant so we're going to go ahead and change your outfit after that and we're just going to go to every day uh, as you saw there was a nude option there which i had not seen before change outfit to nude we do not want to do that while we're here at the restaurant very professional that's how we got to keep it and we're going to go ahead and try to clean up while our first customers show up hopefully there are some afternoon customers and tomorrow we're really going to focus a little bit more on our schedule so let's go ahead and welcome everybody welcome welcome to our place um, our customers aren't showing up as quick as they did yesterday which is unfortunate and probably because of the price let's go ahead and look at how our employee training has gone they have gone up three levels on our chef as well as our waitress and our host so they are doing quite well and of course we're going to train a little bit more uh, we can still only do brief training, but that's okay. And pay for training there. And hopefully by tomorrow, our hostess is always in that tent. I have no clue what she's doing. Uh, really got to get this place up and our house going so she can't be using a tent that we really don't need after we get our house. All right, so let's go ahead and check up on our table. Oh my gosh you guys realize who this family is if you haven't watched all my videos which is okay these are the Jenkins they are the main family and the Sims 4 that I started a long time ago great great family this guy is an excellent pa uh, painter and she's more of a she just kind of bounces around uh, as far as careers and stuff um, let's go ahead and prioritize their food which is not going to be difficult since we have no customers no customers which kind of sucks 
but hopefully we can work on that a little bit. Hopefully those prices aren't really putting them down too much and this waitress needs to stop. I don't know what her deal is or what she's doing in there, but she needs to get to work. I might have to fire her. So we do have training. Let's just double check that. We got training for everybody. Yep, for her. She's a renegade. No wonder she keeps, I don't know if we want a renegade on our crew. They are only trouble. And she's probably sabotaging my easy camper tent while she's in there. All right, so we've checked up on our customers and we can check up on our plants, which is a great thing about having our garden while we're here. And everything's looking well. We need to get more customers in here though. Our funds, if we look at today is, nope, wrong button. Look at our stats today. We are actually losing money today so I think we do need to lower our costs just a little bit until we can get things going. We're going to go ahead and drop that to 200% and hopefully that's going to bring in at least a few more customers. Our perk points are 495 simoleons, uh, but we do need to get this place growing. Meanwhile, it looks like we're taking a little, oh, we're reading. So we're having fun and she just joined us. So they <laughs> take some time off work to go on vacation. No, no, no. I know that sounds great, but I am just getting started with this restaurant. We got to get going a little bit better. We do have eight reviews giving us one and a half stars. Uh, we do have some room to grow. I'm pretty sure about that. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We do not want to give away anything free. And our second day has really just been a bust. Um, we will lower the prices just a little bit because um, what we really need is more customers so we can interact with them and get them to want to come back. Uh, while we train our employees and get them trained up and get better service out of here, uh, that's what we really need to get this restaurant booming. So lowering our prices will bring the customers in and then it'll be my job to keep them happy and make them want to come back. Uh, it's not as good as yesterday, but grand opening, of course, is always going to be a great day. Let's go ahead and we're going to disallow customers for the day as we're not getting any more as you can see and hopefully tomorrow is going to go a whole lot better. We're also going to have some better training and maybe we should even pay for some advertising. I know I didn't want to do that but I think it just might be necessary. So let's go ahead and get some advertising and we're going to go ahead with the, <laughs> we're not going to spend a diamond package. We need to save money for training so we're going to go with the gold package for now. And hopefully that will be okay. But let's go ahead and close business for today. As you can see, we still profited 19 simoleons. Not a lot, but at least we're not losing money. And I have high faith tomorrow that our advertisement and our lower costs are going to bring more people in. Uh, but we'll let that wrap up this episode. Uh, we're definitely making some progress, if not a whole lot. Uh, we do got our garden going and she can spend a lot more time in our garden once these start growing a little bit more and then we can start making more money here as well as our restaurant by kind of multitasking between the two of them obviously we're going to build up this restaurant and make it a lot more beautiful once that money starts racking uh coming in uh, so we're really looking forward to how this is going to turn out and then once we get all that finished we can really start on our house um, and i believe this first generation is going to be the most difficult to really build up and then once we get that going things should really start rolling with the entire legacy rather than just the restaurant but anyways i hope you enjoyed watching as always have a beautifully fabulous day see you later